What a treacherous thing to believe that a person is more than a person. That's always seemed so ridiculous to me. That people want to be around someone because they're pretty. It's like picking your breakfast cereals based on color instead of taste. I'm not saying that everything is survivable, just that everything except the last thing is. The town was paper but the memories were not. If you don't imagine, nothing ever happens at all. It is easy to forget how full the world is of people, full to bursting, and each of them imaginable and consistently misimagined. As long as we don't die, this is gonna be one hell of a story. Margot always loved mysteries. And in everything that came afterward, I could never stop thinking that maybe she loved mysteries so much that she became one. I'm starting to realize that people lack good mirrors. It's so hard for anyone to show us how we look, and so hard for us to show anyone how we feel. Nothing ever happens like you imagine it will. At some point you gotta stop looking up at the sky, or one of these days you'll look back down and see that you floated away too. Isn't it also that on some fundamental level we find it difficult to understand that other people are human beings in the same way that we are? We idealize them as gods or dismiss them as animals. And I wanted to tell her that the pleasure for me wasn't planning or doing or leaving. The pleasure was in seeing our strings cross and separate and then come back together. The rules of capitalization are so unfair to words in the middle of a sentence. It was nice, in the dark and quiet, and her eyes looking back like there was something in me worth seeing. The pleasure isn't in doing the thing, the pleasure is in planning it. Just remember that sometimes the way you think about a person isn't the way they actually are. People are different when you can smell them and see them up close. I stand in this parking lot, realizing that I've never been this far from home, and here is this girl I love and cannot follow. I hope this is the hero's errand, because not following her is the hardest thing I've ever done. This is the first time in my life that so many things would never happen again. I leave. And the leaving is so exhilarating I know I can never go back. But then what? Do I just keep leaving places and leaving them and leaving them, tramping a perpetual journey? Imagining isn't perfect. You can't get all the way inside someone else. But imagining being someone else, or the world being something else, is the only way in. The way I figure it, everyone gets a miracle. Nothing really mattered that much, not the good things and not the bad ones. We were in the business of mutual amusement, and we were reasonably prosperous. The fundamental mistake I had always made, and that she had in fairness always led me to make, was this. Margot was not a miracle. She was not an adventure. She was not a fine and precious thing. She was a girl. I've lived here for 18 years, 
and I have never once in my life come across anyone who cares about anything that matters. I spy with my little eye a great story. I don't know how I look, but I know how I feel. Young, goofy, infinite. I kept waiting for that loneliness and nervousness to make me want to go back, but it never did. Life has become the future. Every moment of your life is lived for the future. How can you separate those things though? The people are the place, is the people. All those paper people living in their paper houses, burning the future to stay warm. I always felt like you had to be important to have enemies. But once that string gets cut, kid, you can't uncut it. Do you get what I'm saying? I think maybe the reason I have spent most of my life being afraid is that I have been trying to prepare myself to train my body for real fear when it comes, but I am not prepared. It is saying these things that keeps us from falling apart, and maybe by imagining these futures we can make them real, and maybe not, but either way we must imagine them. The light rushes out and floods in. If I had a nervous breakdown every time something awful happened in the world, I'd be crazier than a shithouse rat. 